Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Boundless. Yes, indeed, thank you, citizen, for joining the great transmigration. Your journey to these untamed worlds will ensure the survival of our people. Colonize these lands as best you can, build a civilization, uncover new resources, and create travel links across the universe. You will start with nothing but your trusty totem. Go forth, uncover the mysteries of the known worlds, and the Urt who came before. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Which is the thing with Boundless is it is pretty much an entirely player-driven game. This is, of course, a MMO. <laughs> MMO, of course. And, uh, well, I I've been interested in this for a very long time. Um, but, well, a couple of things. <laughs> the Lotus, eh? Ooh, the shark. I kind of like the shark. Eye tint, uh, yellow, not really. Uh, what do we got? Vivid orange. It doesn't look vivid orange, dude. In fact, huh. Since we got back off those original ones, doesn't seem to be working that well. Hmm. Male or female? Oh, you can make them smaller or bigger. But yeah, this is an MMO. It's crafting, survival, um, that sort of a thing. And like I said, I've been kind of interested in it for a long while, but there were, from what I understand, quite a few issues at launch. Um, I want something I can find out there. I don't know that... There we are. That's an absolutely horrible color. And we'll call him... Oh... I don't know. We're gonna call him Mustard. Alright. Sure. The name is in use. Please try another. Oh, alright. Well, of course it is. Uh... How about Mr. Mustard? Hello? Hello? You gonna go with it? We're good? Oh, come on! I don't want to do any of this. No. I don't care about any of that. Alright, we've got USA West. I think that's probably the recommended region, USA East. I live on the west coast of Canada. You dopey machine. Alright, creatures on these worlds don't attack first. Home to hard to defeat creatures who attack first. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with a little bit easier start. I just want to check the uh, audio. Oh, I hate head bob. I don't do it in real life, eh? <laughs> um, debugging. Oh, here we are. It's a completely separate thing. Music volume. Zero of ten. Speaker type, I don't care. Sound effects, let's go down to about a seven. Uh, same with that. Grafica screen, 1920. That's perfect, perfect. Default, 59. Okay. Field of view, 90. That's reasonable. All right. I I'm going to pretend all the rest of this works. So, uh, fine. We'll escape to close. And escape to close. All right. Now, hopefully, no music shall rear its ugly head. Can we jump? Ooh, we can jump. Okay, we can't do anything with the moose buttons yet. 
As you can see, a very voxely world, and you can, in fact, de-voxel it, as you can in many other games. I'm sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> Alright, good luck to you, fella. What's this? Haku, Amasa. Oh, pick up the pink stick and the yellow ball. Oh, well, you know, you just... Gotta do that, dude. Gotta do that. So let's open our inventory. And apparently they'd like us to take this and put it here in our left hand. And then we're gonna pop that into it. Excellent. Uh, can we close with E again? We can. That's what I like to see. Alright, now apparently we have to aim it at this big, uh, big disco ball here in the sky. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. And then, uh, yeah, pick a spot where we think we won't mind spending the first part of our journey here. Ooh. I'm kind of liking that spot. That doesn't look too bad. Um, let's press B. Okay, that'll show us where other people have settled. See, and I'm the type that doesn't want to be where other people have settled. So, I'm going to put us... See, I don't know the scale of this place. So, yeah... I do want to be near water, preferably. Can we zoom at all? Not really, huh? Okay. Well, then I'm going to go with my original thought, which was right there. There we go. We have a landing site. Oh, that took my little... Hey, give me my gem thing back. Oh, let's turn B off. There we go. It was off. All right, now we can come over here. E. To interact. Oh, landing site. Okay. Um, sure. Apparently. Wow. Server region. Yeah, lush world. Blink sex. No idea. Active citizens. Nine. Warp cost. Nothing. Let's do it. Analyzing world data. Okay. There it is. Our new home. Um, let. <laughs> well, fine, I was going, but I suppose if you in. Hello? Hello? Oh. Ooh, what's this? Rosetta Knox, eh? What'd we get? What, 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 what did we get? Here we are. Raw earth yam. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know how to work these. Sure. Now, um. Oh. Oh, this switches both at the same time. Okay, that's not good. Now, there was a way to change that. Um. Bibbidi 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 bop. Controls, I believe. Uh, double tap to run, toggle, creep. I have no idea. Um, ah, here we are. Use left hand item. Right hand item. Hmm. Oh, man. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Here it is right here. Okay, let's try that. Now...
All right. I have no idea. So what would they like us to do? Break tree blocks. Okay. I'm not saying I will, but okay. Mmm. Apparently those are desert swords, eh? Okay. Ooh. Oh, let's see what else we've got around. Ooh, what is this? I take it, I think the deal is you smack something, then you know what it is. Ash. Gravel. Okay. Spine flower. Doesn't seem to be any durability on that thing, so... Okay. Gather tree foliage. I have a feeling I'll need another one or two of these before I'm worrying about foliage. Well, of course, at this point, I would have to say that it's sort of... Uh, does have a wee bit of reminding of a different game, doesn't it? Indeed. Kind of one of those high def pack Minecrafts, you know? 200 damage, eh? And will that improve? Oh, we can't reach that. It only looks like we can. There we go. Okay, I'm hitting them, but they're falling on the ground. Alright, I got that one. So, we get enough? Handcraft a campfire. Really? You think so, do you? Alright, well, I think before I do that, I'd like to find myself, you know, a nice spot, as it were. What's this? A wild tuber plant. Nice! So we got us some potatoes. What's this? A basic boulder. Ooh, what did it have in it? Something. Had something. Something in it. Yes, indeed. Ooh, okay. That's not particularly freaking nice, is it? What sort of a, uh, what sort of an animal is this? Sedimentary rock. Oh, okay, so it's just rock. Rock, rock. More spuds. More of these fellas. So we got some water down here, and I like to be near water. I think that's probably a, a helpful thing. Oh, looks like we got a bunch of weird stuff going on back here. What do we got here? Igneous rock. Metamorphic rock. Ash. Okay. And sedimentary rock. Pretty much um, the four food groups of rock. Huh. All right. Oh. Here's our localist Then it Oh, there's quite a cave behind us, too. That's kind of cool. I don't mind that. Got to tell you. A wild stock. All right. Well, no, I'm not going to... Uh, not going to smack you about, because... I don't see any point in that. Not really much in the way of level down here by this water, is there? Huh. We got this gravel step up here. Now, I don't know if, like, Minecraft, this is going to get all, like, you know, crazy at night and stuff. Or if uh, day and night really make much difference to the crazy levels. Oh, perhaps these do have a uh, durability. It looks like that yellow bar has maybe gone down a bit. Hmm. Oh, 
Those are nice and easy to break. Oh. So we're certainly not that far from a nearer structure, eh? There's something right over there. Whether there's anyone still living there or not is another another question. Those are, yeah, those are just more of those wild stock dudes. Eh? Did you say that? You sound like a goat. That's an interesting cave. They don't look like they're terribly friendly though, you know what I mean? Like as far as getting in and out of them type of thing. Well, that one I think you could manage, at least to a degree. Wow. So this is just a... Uh, a ginormous place, isn't it? Well, there's the door. Hmm. I wonder if anybody's living there. I guess they took advantage. This works on... Um, a ground size plots or squares, right? Much like claiming your own uh, territory when you're on a Minecraft server. Boy, I wasn't really caring about people coming or being able to see them. <laughs> Unless, of course, the whole top of it or something is like balconied. But interesting. Interesting. Do we have a map? Oh, M does that. And then that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, okay, obviously M is not the, uh, not the map key. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, we've had a look at that fella. What direction are we headed in? What's this? Why is there, like, a house symbol there? What else have we got? There's purple, gold, red. Okay, there's another house there. I assume that's that one. Hmm. Northeast, there's absolutely no houses. Let's go that way. Now, is there a run? There is a run. What does it do? What does it use up? Oh, okay, now that's a spitter. From what I know, that's one of the nasties. So let's not uh, involve ourselves too directly with that fella. Oop, yeah. Exactly my thoughts. Oh. Well, there's certainly a house there. But that's the sort of area, I mean, right there overlooking some water. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, look. A stout wild stock. Huh. Does that make you nastier than the other ones? Like, am I... is this the sort of thing that gets uh, worse with distance? So these ones don't show up, eh? Hmm. I think that's something to do with your buildings actually have to be a certain level. It's a trap. <laughs> and it worked. I'd like to find somewhere where we can be alone long enough to at least put up a little bit of structure and such. Because I don't know how other people are on these, uh, these servers. Is that an actual cave? Or just a little sort of 
hollow in the ground. That's interesting. I wonder if somebody hid in there for the night. I also haven't really seen anything in the way of food. Other than maybe the critters that are wandering around. I can't see it being much of a survival game if there's no food involved. So what are those giving me? Um, E for inventory, huh? What do we got here? Oh, spicy bean. Oh, I guess we do have, we are getting food, aren't we? Raw food, edible raw food. I see. So, yeah, I know you want me to make a fire. And these are what are called smart stacks. If, oop, if you open them, they're actually, there's opal and flint. Ah, oh, that's what I've been getting out of these. Flint and opal. Okay. That's kind of what I wanted to know. What do we got going on down here? Ooh, that's an interesting spot. Getting into a much more mountainous biome now. Interesting. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> I'm glad that wasn't any further than it was. Huh. Interesting. Ooh, I got experience for that, apparently. So, wandering around and exploring is apparently uh, a worthy thing to be doing. Oh, it's raining. Ooh, that's quite the cave there. It's funny how sometimes you can walk along the ground quite easily for long, long distances. And then other times you really uh, notice just how voxel built it is as you have to jump from level to level. But apparently you can shape the voxels in this game quite a lot. Um, what's called chiseling. Whoa, you really gotta watch where you're freaking going, man. <laughs> Let me tell you, do you ever gotta watch where you're going? Look at these. Oh, look at all the minerals down there, though. You know what? I'm liking this spot. You are no longer affected by full up. Hi. I'm not gonna fall for that. You bumped into me to see if I'd react and then you'd have an excuse to beat the tar out of me. I know how this works. Huh. It's too bad I had thought this was... But I don't know, of course, I don't know either. Is water even important in this game? Like, is that something... Oh, here's somebody has just set up a small area. Hmm? Interesting. Somebody set up a much bigger one there, or is that a natural structure? See what appear to be ores down in those caves. Eh? Hmm. Uh huh. Whoa. <laughs> really want to be careful, man. Metamorphic rock. Interesting.
I like that ledge inside of that place. Maybe we'll get a bit of a view from up here. Sedimentary rock. Hmm. Well, okay, there's some really big buildings out there. Oh, I see that purple. I guess that kind of means there's a city going on there. Alrighty. these rock columns. Interesting. And what is this? Sand. Ooh. I have a feeling that might be of value. Exotic foliage. Ah, that's just like the leaves on the trees. Okay. to here and I decide I want to take these rocks and maybe put them down oops um, I didn't mean to hit tab oops there we go can I do that oh other hand maybe there we are sure I can cool I can actually make this into a fairly decent sized platform. Alright. Now, let's see about that campfire they wanted, shall we? Let's go to handcraft. And they would like us to make a campfire slash beacon. Simple beacon for claiming land. Any trunk, any foliage. Crap. Oh, do we have it already? We do. Oops, I always hit tab for some reason. Okay, now... Oh, I see. It creates sort of a thingy, huh? Hmm. So. So, now, handcraft timber from tree trunks, okay, so handcraft, ah, apparently we have some of this type, 
Required available six. Okay, now they'd like us to make a crafting table. Okay. Back to our inventory. Ah, there's a crafting table. Do the same thing. All right. Okay, sticks, foliage, timber. All right, you just just go knock a tree down. This is what you're telling me, right? Just go knock a tree down. All right. I see I've also uh, got that thing set up so it's not really uh, giving me the advantage of that. Uh, oops, rock area. Not at all. Um... Oh, they're not there anymore, eh? Okay. Let's put them back there, then. There we go. Give us a little bit of space. All right. Let's go and, uh, yeah. Let's go take down a tree. Wow. Wow. It's going to be kind of hard to get at the foliage on those ones. Ooh, that was something weird, wasn't it? A pulsating orb. Okay. Sure. Uh-huh. I'm never going to get the foliage off of that. Well, this one I think we can get on to. Lustrous wood. I like that. Huh, not quite, eh? No, I am not going to be able to jump up on this one. Yeah, at least not from there. Oh yeah, we are some of it anyway. What the heck was that? Oh, we've leveled up. Interesting. Well, let's manage to get six foliage in our inventory. Alright, let's see if we can find any that's a little closer to the ground. Now, I think you can do the... Uh, um, stacks, you know. Build your way up to the t height of things. 
And I believe that through the skill system you can expand the range of how far you can hit things too, so... There's also that route. No, none of those are reachable. Have we got enough? 13 of 16. Well, that's not enough. Hmm. Our totem thing is just about toast. How are we doing? 15 of 16. I just can't reach any of these. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Huh. I do believe that that is some here on these little bush things. Not much, mind you. Although, I understand that the way it works is everything uh, completely resets every X period of time. Um, okay. Now, they want me to... Oh, I need timber, huh? So... That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, I need to make timber. Here we are. Oh, sticks. We can make sticks as well. Eh? Interesting. However, uh, lustrous wood. Alright, how many do we need? 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Very good. And we need sticks. Alright, four. 8, 12, 16 sticks. Okay. A wood axe and a wood hammer. Nice. So, let's go back up here. A wood axe. Let's craft that. And a wood hammer. Let's craft that. Good stuff. A wood shovel. And a wood hand tiller. A ticket, you mean a hoe? Wood shovel. Craft. And wood axe, wood hand tiller. Yeah, it's a hoe. Craft. Alright. So that's all of those. <laughs> let's go to our inventory. And let's equip these. Alright, axe. Let's put that here. Let's put uh, hand tiller. Do we not have a pickaxe? Well, I guess that's what we do with. Oh, that's a wood hammer. All right, hammer, shovel, axe. Really? No uh, axe, basic torch. No, apparently not. Okay. Go to the exchange. Oh, okay. So we're done here. They want us to do this now. And go to exchange. Oh, and collect stuff. Oh, oh no. It's in four skill points. All right. Bunch of money. Oh no, experience. Okay. Collect stuff. Bunch of coins, but no more of those cubits. Ah, oh, there we go. 200. Ooh, look at that. And yet another. Wow. 100 coin. Okay. There we go. Whew. Plots. 
So they'd like us to buy this one, but I could actually buy this one. Hmm. Now, apparently, the way they've set this up, there's no, like, bargains for going big type of thing. You know what I mean? Um... And I think I have to buy the two. Oh, that's going to leave me just shy of being able to buy that. But I'll be able to buy four because I'll be able to buy this twice. Um, yeah, see, because it says I have to buy exchange your cubits for a two plot. Yeah. So let's do that just to keep up with it. All right. And let's do it again. There we go. Okay. Well, it should be that. Um, no? Okay. We're done, apparently. Uh, what else we got? Inventory? What do you want? What? Oh, a bit. Oh, I see. So they want us to get some rocks, some trees, and some timbers. No, okie dokie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Oh, how many timber would you like? Just four? There you go. All right, let's go and get the rest of the stuff they would like us to have. Now, these plots... Um, wood timber. Are they like an item? Hmm. I don't don't see that. Hmm. See, there's my current zone. So how... Oops, I didn't mean to actually grab any grass seeds, but there you go. How do I get uh, my plots brought up here? Tab. Uh, character. Oh, apparently I'm hungry. Uh, skills. Ooh, I have skill points. Vitality bonus. Well, that's definitely worth it, isn't it? It gives me uh, an extra 130 health. Power. Damage. I'm not really there yet. Interaction range. There's that one that allows you to actually reach things that are a little further away. And then we've got these as well, eh? Wow. Who? okay. But that's not the one I want. Um, rewards and extras. Places. Uh, settlement. Worlds, locations, beacons, Q. 
campfire. It's only fueled for that period of time. Okay, I guess we get to that sort of thing is what they're telling us here. So, we need to get the... Uh, some rock. Well, that shouldn't be too hard to do. Shouldn't be too hard to do. These are, after all, rocks here, aren't they? Um, why does that... How do I change the other one? Oh. There we go, full up and we get a bonus, right? So how do I change? Okay, that counts as 10. That certainly breaks them easier than the, uh, which we call it totem. to get tree foliage again. <laughs> yeah, we know what the problem with that is, don't we? You don't like to put this stuff where we can actually reach it. So I would imagine that for that, they would like me to get an axe. Um, all right, that's just not working. Um, control. No, it was game. Let's try that. There we go, wood axe. Let's, let's see here. What have we got? That's wood. I don't really have any, just like dirt. So let's take this and do that. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, you can pillar up, just like Minecraft. Cool. So let's get a bit of this while we're up here then, I guess. Seeing as uh, doesn't seem to be the easiest thing to get. Nice. So now they would like us to craft a beacon control. 
and then craft or acquire beacon fuel. Interesting. All right, so let's go and do that. Oh, uh, I'm on the wrong one. Okay, so um, I'm going to turn that off. There we go. Now, they would like us to craft. Oh, at the crafting table. Okay. A beacon control. A beacon plotter. Is that what they need? Nope. Apparently not. A beacon controller. Alright, and beacon fuel. So, a beacon controller is rock, timber, and foliage. We got lots. We can craft one. Okay, apparently that's in the queue. What's this? Foliage. Oh, we can craft one of those. Okay. Alright, it's done, I take it. Yes? No? Maybe? Alrighty. Let's go to... Um... Inventory. And let us take... Where are you? Oh, handcraft. What? Yeah, I already did that. Why did it not register that I did that? Inventory. Um, where is this thing that I just crafted, supposedly? I don't get it. I've already done this. Oh, I'll bet it's still in here. Contents, there we go. Yes. There we go. All right. Equip and place the beacon. All right, now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I need to go into here, to my inventory. And let's take you right there. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go away. Now, let's take that beacon and place it here. And it's unfueled, so let's do this. There we are. We now have four weeks of fuel. Alright. Give your beacon a name. Okie dokie. Uh, overview. Unnamed beacon. Let's rename the beacon. And let's call it... Uh, this will be the bacon beacon. Bacon beacon. Beacon bacon. Oop, that's supposed to have an A in it, but I don't care. We're going to call it the bacon beacon. Beacon beacon. Whatever. <laughs> All right, what would you like us to do now? A beacon plotter with the crafting table. All right, whatever you say, man. E. Now, recipe. Beacon plotter. Any timber, any foliage. We don't have any timber. Any timber. Man. Where 
there's timber, timber, timber. Here we are. We can make ancient wood timber. Craft. There we are. Now, beacon, oh, beacon plotter. Craft one. And... What's this? Oh, our ancient wood timber. And our beacon plotter. Okay. Extend your beacon using a beacon plotter. Okay. Oops. Okay. E. So. Let's see here. Where I really want to add one. to campfires. Why would I be adding that to a campfire, man? Oh, maybe that's in the way, sort of? Oh, yeah, because I can extend that way. Hmm. You see, as long as you've got the B on, you can kind of see a little, uh... See that little area there? That little three markers moving around? That's my actual plot zone. So, how about if I wanted to add one here? Hmm. Okay, we've got a nice big area now. Awesome. Okay, why will you not turn off? Because I have that in my hand. There we are. Thank you. So there it is on. Right on. We got that whole big box is all ours now. Cool. So there we go. Spend a skill point. So let's go into tab, character, and skills. Um, we'll definitely spend one there. And then they want us to confirm it. Confirm. Okay. Eating food. We've already done that. Equip and eat food, zero to two. Well, we have actually done that already. Um, we have five points left, eh? Bomb mastery, hammer mastery, shovel, axe, oh, I see. Okay, grapple mastery and spanner mastery. Hmm. Boosts all attributes by two points. Ooh, that's probably decent, eh? 
debuff duration, maximum energy, luck, rare drops, healing potency, run speed, block placement. Okay, I'm gonna put one into control so I can reach a little further. Okay. Ooh. Hey, we reached level four. Check it out. We get a copper for that. <laughs> 180 cubits. We could buy more land if we wanted to. Very nice. So, but I think, guys, I'm going to uh, actually call it there for the moment. Um, oh, equip and eat food. Um, There we go. Okay. Complete an objective in the journal. All right, so we will start with that the next time. Really hope you enjoyed the first hour of Boundless. I think this could end up being a lot of fun. So... Those of you that play, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Any suggestions, advice, any of that sort of thing you might have for a daft booger like myself. Beyond that, though, have yourselves an awesome day. Take care, and ciao for now.